today and I'm going to be using the one of the polishes from the Essie Gel Couture line as well as their top coat. With this polish line you do not need a base coat so I'm going to go ahead and apply my first coat onto my natural nail. Once my first coat is dry I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat. With this polish um, it's pretty sheer so depending on how opaque you want your nails to be will depend on how many coats you go with. I'm going to go ahead and apply three coats to my nails today. Quick note, don't forget to let your nails dry in between each coat. That way you prevent getting bubbles on your nails. I've done that many, many times. Another material that I'll be using today is this holographic foil that I got off of eBay. I'll go ahead and link it in the description for you guys. Everything that I use today will be linked in the description. If you can cut it into any shape that you want, um, big sizes, small sizes, medium sizes, make sure that it's pretty versatile. I'm going to go ahead and apply my first layer of top coat, pick up my, dot, my dotting tool, and I'm going to use that to pick up these pieces and place them on the top of my nail. There's no right or wrong way to do this, you just want to apply it wherever you think it's going to look nice. While you're applying the, piece, the pieces of foil to your nails, be sure to leave the spaces in between each piece, that way it gives the shatter effect on your nails. Don't worry if there are any pieces sticking out or it's or sticking off of your nail, you're going to go ahead and trim that with a pair of scissors and I end up patting down the pieces anyway to ensure that nothing is sticking up. I also decided to add the gold striping tape to my nails. I cannot do a look without adding this to my nails or adding glitter to my nails. So you don't have to if you don't want to, this is optional. I think it adds a little scent, scent. you know? After everything is done, go ahead and put your layer of top coat. Again, I'm using the Essie Gel Couture top coat. With this top coat, you do not need to cure it, so you do not need a UV light or anything like that. It's not sticky, so you don't need to wipe anything away. It, it's just pretty great. I, I like it a lot. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and be sure to tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look. I'll see you next week in the beginning of your week on Monday. Bye!